Yo, what's going on and welcome back to some more Elden Ring. In the last one, we explored a lot of the Celia town of sorcery. We solved all the mysteries to open the seals. Um, we also talked to this guy, Gowry, Sage Gowry. Um, and we got him a broken needle that he wanted and then he fixed the needle for us. And he told us that we need to find this girl named Millicent somewhere up around here. I don't know exactly where. Hopefully we'll find her soon. Um, but we also, like, we also explored all this swamp and stuff. And we discovered a boss somewhere around, like, here. Uh, we'll take you there in just a second. But that's what we're going to be doing first today. We are going to be starting with that boss. We haven't looked at that boss at all. I just saw the fog wall. Um, and then explored other stuff first. Um, but we are going to be starting with the boss today. So let's get up there. Hopefully we can just avoid everyone. Is there a stake here? I have a stake respawn point. But I don't know where it is. I don't see a stake. It might be the stake at the beginning of this place, but whatever. We'll see if we die. So let's get in here. We got Nox Sword Stress. Sword Stress, Nox Priest. Ow. Okay, that's a lot of damage. Can we line them up? Oh, I'm out of mana. Let's see if we can line some people up here. No, did not line him up, but there goes one. Yeah, this thing, even after the nerfs, is still doing lots of damage when we're in, like, appropriate areas. Nox Flowing Sword. So that boss obviously wasn't that difficult. We were doing like literally half of their health with a single attack. What is a flowing sword? Is that a curved sword? It is. Nox, flowing sword, scales off his of strength and dex. Oh, it's like a shuttle. A grim weapon wielded by swordsmen of the Eternal City, this shuttle as a blade as fine as a needle forged from the liquid metal of a silver tear it is thoroughly tempered until hardened flowing form temporarily transforms armament into its liquid form swinging the armament like a whip to perform a sweeping slice over a wide area i want to equip it real quick and give it a try should equip it in the freeze law huh? here what's this thing look like it just uh, pretty much looks like a normal shuttle, but let's check this out. Oh, it looks like that one whip that we found. Your character does like a weird animation afterwards. Eh. I was hoping it'd be a little bit cooler, honestly. Alright, let's sit down. Yeah, those guys were only worth like 6,000 runes, so. Okay, let's check for uh, illusory walls, and then we'll be on our way. I didn't expect the boss room to have an exit to it. I kind of expected it to just be a destination. I find it weird that um, graces that tell you where to go don't seem to turn off after you've done the thing. So I can't tell now if this was what it was pointing me to or if there was something else. Okay. So what's going on here? Is this like an elevator? It's a chest. All right, well. I 
doubt that this is gonna- Wow, you can actually make that jump? I didn't know you could jump that high. I figured it'd be slightly too high. I wonder, is it makeable just off the ground? Yeah, it is. Oh, you don't jump higher with, uh, dash. You think there's something behind it? No. Teleport? No. Lusat's Glintstone Staff. So this was the entire point of the boss, essentially, is this staff right here. Is it better than what we have? Uh, I mean, maybe. I can't really tell. Because it's so... I don't understand why a lot of our staves just have 60 sorcery scaling. Is it because we can't use them? Yeah, all the ones we can't use automatically have 60. So we don't get to know how good they are. Interesting. So what's up with you? Staff of the primeval glintstone sorcerer Lusat. Only those who have glimpsed what lies beyond the wisdom of stone may wield it. Enhances power of all sorceries, but consumes additional FP. Ooh. So that's your... That's probably your classic one-shot staff. If you want to one-shot a boss, you're probably using this thing. Unless, um... Unless, like, the effects of something that boosts a specific type of sorcery is better. But... This thing's gonna be a general use, high damage. If you have really high mind, it'll be good for you. Because the increased cost won't hurt you as much. So yeah, I guess that's it for here. So, let's go up the back streets here and see what's there, because I'm thinking that Millicent is here. Not entirely sure, but there's some weird skull up there, and they were saying that in the back, or by they were saying, I mean, we bought a note from a merchant that said in the back by the cemetery, there's a hidden cave, which must be this, right? And then we also should probably do, uh, what the? Does it summon more? Oh, we're still just getting chased. I don't know where that boulder came from. I'm trying to figure it out, but I don't see anybody. So we just gotta be aware and dodge, I guess. But we also have to do the crystal cave. We haven't actually done the crystal cave yet. Ooh, it like aims at you. Yeah, this seems like the church behind the thing. So this should be where she is over there. There's also supposed to be a hidden cave up here. Okay, not right there. What is up with this giant like skull looking thing? So, if I remember correctly, we had a painting, or the painting down in Celia Village, actually, so it's probably not around here. There was a painting in Celia Village that showed, like, someone looking at Redmain Castle from somewhere around here. This, like, seems to be the generally correct area for that. So the people worshipping her are the weird centipede demons. You think that maybe they did mean the crystal cave? It's called the tunnel, it's not called the cave. We should probably explore all of this, but first I want to know where we're going. Ok, 
Okay, there's one of those giant half bowls. It must be up there. That would make sense as well. There's so much stuff here. Why is there so much stuff up here? There's a grace. We should hurry to the grace. Starlight shark? Are those enemies? They are. Oh, you can get the sacramental bud right here. Okay, so that must be Millicent. Before we talk to her, Sacred Tear, nice. We've been needing one of those for a little bit. Grab all these sacramental buds. These are supposed to be exceedingly rare, according to the game. Oh! I can't get any attacks off against this guy. Really? It let one thing through? Okay, yeah, we're using this because we're about to rest anyways. Get one kill. Ooh, Pest's Glaive. Hold up, lady. I'm protecting you from these evil people. Uh, very low requirements to use this weapon. Glaive made from hard, sharpened shell, wielded by the pests who emerge from the swamp of Aeonia, slightly increases non-physical damage negation. Really? Though men might recognize the keen intellect of the pests evidenced by this spear's uncanny design, it will never be understood by them. So your damage negation? Like almost a 2% increase. Like 1.7 or something. It's different for each one, apparently. By a little bit, I think. Interesting. Okay, let's talk to Millicent. Well, let's rest. Okay, now our flasks are better. Uh, no, no Melina here, huh? Alright, let's try and help out this Millicent lady. Who's there? Well, it matters not. If you are wise, you will leave immediately. My flesh writhes with scarlet rot. It is a curse. Not to be meddled with by man. Uh, yeah, let's give her the needle. You ask that I stab myself with the needle. I didn't read the, the needle. Ah. But how? Never mind. I've decided I would rather trust you than simply continue to spoil from within. Would you mind averting your eyes for a moment? Not like I have a choice, apparently. <sighs> well, that was easier than expected. But why do I feel so? Do we still have the needle or no? I don't think so. Dang it, I... I meant to read it. Did I read it? I don't think I did. Well, I guess that's how it goes.
We should reload the area. Oh, <laughs> amazing. Full recovery. She's still missing her arm, though. I hoped to see you again. My apologies for when last we met. I fainted before I could even thank you. Everything is as you said. Since inserting the needle, the scarlet rot has ceased to writhe. Even the nightmares have abated. And now, though I can scarcely believe it myself, I can move as I please. Not that I could ever truly repay you, but I would like you to have this by way of thanks. A token though it is. Prosthesis wearer heirloom. Check out what that does. Raises dexterity. The talisman engraved with a scene from a heroic tale raises dexterity. It gives you five, right? Yeah. Wait, no it doesn't. Hold, uh, hold on. It probably does give you five. Yeah, it gives you five. Uh, I didn't read the rest of it. Though born into the accursed rot, when the young girl encountered her mentor and his flowing blade, she gained wings of unparalleled strength. What? I'm considering leaving. On a journey. With the needle buried in my flesh, I've started to recall, but dimly, my destiny. It's all thanks to you. My name is Millicent. I pray fate permits us meet again. You want to tell me where we're I'm you're going? I'm considering leaving with the needle. My destiny. Well, I assume when I rest here, she will be gone. Yes. All right. Well, we did help her. Um, I think what I should do right now, before I do anything else, is. Go to what's it called? Also, I noticed that all the sacramental buds here are gone, so I guess they don't respawn. So it still remains rare. But yeah, I'm gonna go to Gowry. Is there a fast way to get to Gowry from here? Kind of almost looks like there is. This way. Oh, we can maybe fight. Oh, jeez. Oh, those are just a normal enemy now? Alright, well, I'm out. probably sh should have just left. Those are all over the place, huh? Taking your item. Goodbye. I was gonna say we could kill this giant, probably. And maybe he won't throw stuff at us. What are regular demi-humans doing here? I'm starting to think this path is not leading down is leading us down. Kinda like it looks like it would, but maybe not. We'll try it in a second. First we gotta kill this guy for throwing magical explosive pots at us earlier. Not very appreciative of that. Alright, you're pretty tanky. Fair. to do that a little bit better. 
But he's right on the cliff. I didn't want to roll off the cliff. Oh, hello. Yep, that's that's about what should have happened there. All right, you're dead. Oh, I can't break these. I probably was supposed to have him break them, huh? Dang it. We'll try that in a second then after we talk to what's his face. Maybe Millicent will be there. Or maybe he'll tell us where her destiny is. Can I climb down this? This doesn't seem like a very good idea. Yeah, I just feel like there's an item under all these. Especially since I think one of them exploded, so... Ooh, can you make this? Wait, 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 wait. This is just an area. Hold up. And then we can maybe drop down as well, but... Careful now. Ooh! I seem to be fighting with my shield on accident. Jesus. Alright, nerd. To think, I even was trying to be careful. Still got turbo ganked. Where are we? Oh, this is just a little tiny plateau. Might have something good on it. Big goats, is there anything here? What are you hiding? I'm fighting? Who? Am I fighting a goat? I think I'm fighting a goat. Do not wish to fight the goats. Ah, another tower. Hello. This tree doesn't appear so. All right, let's go in here. Swamp lookout tower. Oh, this actually opens. I definitely expected this to not open. Eternal darkness spell. Creates dark space that draws in spells. 
Forbidden Sorcerer of Celia Town of Sorcery creates a space of darkness that draws in sorceries and incantations. This sorcery can be cast while in motion, originally a lost sorcery of the Eternal City. The despair that brought about its ruin made manifest. Is there a way to get up there? Or... Is that it? It seems pretty barren up there. Interesting. Seems like there was very little here. Okay, so let's go down. Go talk to Gowry. Then we'll come back up here, try and get the guy to break those pots. And then we'll go back to the church again. Explore around there. And then go find that cave that they're talking about. Oh, we could have used the way down over there. But there's also a way down here. Hello, dragonfly. Wow. Expertly done, dragonfly. Now there's not someone throwing pots at us. Oh, we're gonna have to fight the dog. I feel like it's actually just his guard dog. Oh, what the? Oh, hello again. Something about this place felt familiar to me. So I decided to pay a visit, hoping to find someone here, but I've only found emptiness. Perhaps before my departure, I needed someone to say farewell to. Well, Never mind that. I must focus on my journey. For which I have you to thank. I must stay strong. Well, I must focus. I must. Well, I must focus. I must. Mm. It does say that Millicent is here currently. We'll have to check back here after we reload the area, I guess. I wonder if you can check the map. Like, if we could have checked the map and seen that Gallery wasn't going to be there. I mean, it says Sage Gallery's back there again now. But we'll go back there again. Go the same way. Get all of these that we can. Why are there so many bats here? Oh. Nothing that special. It seems like you can go there. Oh, that's the big expanse of land. I see, I see. There's another super bat. item there. Does he not respawn? I thought there was a chance he might not respawn. Dang it. Maybe there's no item. Think to try is pull out the heaviest weapon that I can wield. Which is probably that's the claymore. Dang it. 
I don't know what he broke while we were fighting. He definitely broke a pot. I guess it wasn't one of these. All right, let's go back down to Gallery, see what's going on there. So I don't even know how to follow her quest until she tells me where the heck she's going. She doesn't seem to want to do. That guy always just fall off. Back. Thank you kindly for giving the needle to Millicent. Now she too can begin her journey and stare her fate straight in the eye. You've been a saint through and through. As thanks, I vow to impart to you my knowledge of the lost sorceries of the Selians, descendants of the Eternal. Oh. What's it got? Night Maiden's Mist. I think I'm gonna buy both of these, because we already have this. One of the night sorceries of Celia, Town of Sorcery, swiftly fires a semi-invisible projectile. Sorcery can be used without delay after performing another action. The Celian sorcerers or assassins, yeah, yeah, yeah. Releases a life-sapping silver mist before the caster, dealing damage to all caught within, including the caster. The sorcery can be cast while in motion. Below Celia, the eternal city of Nakron sleeps. The sorcery originates from the maiden of that place. I mean, we might as... Do we need them? I assume we'll get, like, his bell-bearing if he were to die. You noticed, did you? Indeed, Millicent did visit this hovel of a home. It seems the memories eaten away by the rotting sickness yet remain, but faintly. However, she has no need of me anymore. No, she must embark on her journey and stare her fate in the eye. I mustn't impede. As I've aged, I've found the best way to aid the young is to be forgotten. Interesting. Well, that tells me literally zero about where she's going. Yo, so, back up to the Church of the Plague. What a delightful sounding place. So we want to clear out the area up here and look for that cave. Um, I would like to wait, I think, till morning, maybe? So I can see. Also, were all those centipede dudes like a one-time thing? They either left because we healed Millicent, or they don't respawn. Both is very possible. There's an Arteria leaf over here. Oh, there's a dude. Did I just not see them? Well, he got stuck. Poor guy. Didn't stand a chance. Yeah, this doesn't seem like quite the right angle. Unless it's like over there or something. Or that picture. Why don't we take a look at the picture real quick?
really close to here. It's like maybe just down. Down there. I'm pretty sure it's somewhere down there along that wall. But was that centipede dude one that we missed, or do they actually respawn and I just wasn't seeing them? Surprised there's no skeletons around here. Oh, they do respawn. Okay. Fair enough. So, do we take on this land octopus? Ooh, you get one shot. Oh, only unsuspecting mini land octopuses get one shot. There's a lot. But if we don't kill them, then the big guy will be able to heal. Alright. We didn't cut off his tentacles, but... I was trying to cut off his tentacles, it just wasn't working. Ah. Died from the gatekeeper for those returning to the roots. Maybe somewhere over here. That's what it looks like. Oh, that guy scared me. I was not ready for that. Just guarding a Michaela's lily? That doesn't seem right. Hmm. I don't think there's anything we can do right here. So, upwards we go. Still looking for that cave. Oh joy. I went decently well. The fire ability helped a lot. I really do think that I should rune arc up again. The problem I'm having is I don't have enough um, FP. I only cast like two abilities.
But we'll save it for when we find this cave, I think. jump down there and then not be able to get back up. many skeletons here. Item over there. I don't know where the item went. Oh, it's another one of you guys. You are tanky. All right, fair enough. That is hard to dodge. can jump to the top. Oh, there you go. Not seeing this hidden cave, though. Take us on top of this ridge. Did that thing again where a torrent lands on something and then the thing it makes a giant ruckus. What am I missing here? the thing again. There's a hidden cave in the town of Salia. Look beyond the graveyard at the precipice. Maybe it's up this. Hold up. Just want to check around this little tree area. This is the precipice of the graveyard. Ah. Okie dokie. We will 
probably try and do that jump up, figure out what's going on, but first, this cave. Celia Hideaway. Okay. It might be a mistake, but I'm gonna ruin Arco. Hopefully we just don't die to some super cheese in here. Uh, and we need a lot to be able to level up. Well, only 7k. We're three-fourths of the way there. So it's really dark. What is that? Something cool is now functional. Well, I have a feeling we're going to get ganked here. Oh, it's you guys. Jeez. I didn't think they would fire off like that. I thought they'd all come at once. Okay, so it's guys that we can't hit. We can't just auto-attack them. Also probably be aware of hidden walls in here. Yeah, that's what I thought. They're gonna give hints with like sounds, I guess. this cave anymore so we should go the other way first as well because I think it's gonna take us to the other side mm. hold up now yeah, we should go this way first actually so this is bound to be the optional path Is there anything? I'll just tank it, I guess. going. It seems like it's going to be very easy to die to something stupid in here. Oh good. More of the spell casting snails. So, do I go... I'm trying to think, this seems like it's going to be a long, arduous journey. We're going to take the Blessed Talisman. So what was the point of the snails back here? It's like a cave? That seems like an exit. It seems like you come out here after doing something. each other's backs, so maybe we can just get a backstab.
Okay, that was not very clean, but... So what am I missing here? There should be another path. I guess that is the other path. So it definitely went through this wall. It's on the other side of this wall somewhere. So it's gotta be this jump, I guess. Oh, I almost pressed the wrong button to jump. That's crazy. All of a sudden, I like my Dark Souls instincts clicked in, and I was like, uh, "You press the thumbstick to jump." I don't want to fight you. What the heck? How did you do that? Does this just death if you jump? What is the point of this crystal? This crystal you could have gotten to from up there, but I don't remember which one that was up there. The heck is that? There's like a weird spell seal down there. It seems like you can definitely go down there. The stake. So this is the correct way then? Or just a stake? Oh jeez. This area is crazy. Way bigger dungeon than I expected. Why would I come up here? Is that even possible? How am I supposed to get over there though? I don't think I should have dropped. Uh oh, okay. I thought I was just dead. Okay, this looks illusory. Crystal Spear. So it's like the other crystal weapons. Spear fashioned from pure crystal, a deed impossible for a human and wreathed with powerful magic. It atta its attack scales with intelligence. The inscrutable crystallians have but one clear purpose to safeguard their crystals unto the end. One theory posits that they yearn for the return of their creator who will carve for them new brethren and it has impaling thrust. Okay, so that tells me that we're likely facing Crystallians as the boss again. But I think with our skill we can actually handle them. No, I don't see any point to this crystal. See, I feel bad about how we did the beginning part now because I feel like I didn't thoroughly explore the beginning part. But I didn't realize, I thought this was gonna be exclusively a side path. Okay, 
this and now we're back up at virtually the top yeah it's gonna break didn't break that's crazy I see correctly? I thought I saw like a plant. No, maybe I just saw a weird reflection. How does this come back up top to where we found those first snails? Doesn't seem like it does. This is an illusory wall. There's the boss over there. This is not an illusory wall. What? There's people on the other side of it. I can hear them. They're up there. So there has to be an illusory wall somewhere to get up there. Snail scared me a little bit. Hey, okay, can we like climb this crystal somehow? didn't take me where I wanted to go. So we obviously missed a path, but maybe there was just two paths over here? Or maybe we haven't missed anything yet, and I'm just speaking too soon? Nope, that's not it either. That's weird. I can't use Torrent, right? No. Huh. Maybe in this previous room? This? No. I'm missing something, obviously. I feel like I'm probably missing a lot of somethings at the moment. I'll try and figure it out after the bosses, I guess. Or boss. Last time we fought Crystallians, it was two, though. We'll probably keep out our shield uh, for parrying purposes at first. This dungeon is a little bit too complex, I feel like. It's triple crystallians? Are you kidding me? That's Scarlet Rot that he's doing? I don't like that. Why'd I shoot at him with the... Oh, really? That's why they gave us this, I suppose. Okay, that does no damage. Uh, we need a new weapon. can't do anything though yeah it's how how did they design the game like this that even if you parry them you still don't deal damage to them it's 
so dumb. And of course, I don't have a blunt weapon upgraded. Can I just also wield a blunt weapon? We just always go for the Morning Star. We can wield this thing. Deals very slightly more damage. Let's go with the Morning Star still. Alright, well that was stupid. I'm a little bit mad about that one, but... Also, we should maybe equip some... Boluses for this. Case. Yeah, I had to do way too much menuing during that. And I pressed on the Morning Star, but it didn't give it to me. Oh my god, this weapon's trash. Fighting the stupid snails. This doesn't do damage either. Oh, it does do damage. Not a lot. Oh, crap. I need to get this mage. Oh, and now I'm Scarlet Rotted. This is a problem. Just not taking any damage. Now it's a 3v1, huh? Yeah, this doesn't seem possible at the moment. Where are my runes, anyways? I don't see my runes anywhere, are they? Oh, they're at the door. Alright. So now we'll at least walk out with our runes. Cause there's no way, I, I can't do this right now. This doesn't feel, feel possible. Maybe if I just keep parrying this guy? I'm dead to Scarlet Rot. Oh, do I not have Scarlet Rot anymore? Okay. Well. Like, come on. Really? We're gonna explore the rest of the place. 
Um, and I think we're gonna have to save this one for later. Like, I need a weapon that can deal damage to them. Trying to figure out what should we use as a weapon. Mm. We still got three of those if we need to do something like that again. Yeah, they didn't take any damage from the laser beam. I didn't get the chance to try the fire attack. Maybe I should have, but... Um, so let's try and explore the other stuff around here. Then I think we'll leave. And then, I don't know... They seem to only be weak to blunt, like literally nothing besides blunt. Maybe I'm mistaken. Maybe they're also weak to like fire or holy or something. Oh. What all did we miss? Last time we went this way, we found this secret cave, right? So what if we had just gone the way they wanted? Oh, there's just nothing. So, you couldn't have progressed without the illusory wall. So, now we gotta figure out how the heck we missed the other areas then. I guess the first obvious one is go across that way. And we didn't go to the bottom at all. We can't really get back, I don't think. I guess you could go this way. What else are we missing out on? Last time we chose to go that way and there was some weird path behind the snails that we couldn't get to. Go down this time? What is that down there? Oh, it's one of those things. I feel like we got lucky the first time we fought this thing, because I've seen some other people fight this, and they have not been so lucky. We did fight it, right? How did we fight it? Because I don't remember this thing being a problem at all. But so far, everyone I've seen run into it has had not a good time. So maybe we just arrow it from up here? But he seems to not be doing anything right now. Is there a better angle? Or do I just jump on him and hope for the best? It seems like I just jump on him and hope for the best. Poisons as well. Oh, my goodness, gee. 
mean, we almost instantly killed him, but like, come on. That wasn't even fair. <sighs> if it just hadn't cancelled my one attack, he was dead. This dungeon sucks. Is stupid. How did that hit? How did that not hit? Jesus. I feel like how we fought that guy the first time was it was in that swampy area in Liernia. And it was next to a, a tower that I don't think he could fit in. And so we just sat in the tower and like just hit him from inside of it. Yeah, that sucks. It was not a good time. How do we get up there? I think it's done four. Okay, this is how we get up there. Nope, this is... Okay, this is the crystal behind the... Okay, so... This is how we end up in that spot. But... Still hasn't answered the question of how we get to that one area. This would take us back. Hold up. I feel like we're missing an illusory wall somewhere. Not that. Where does this take us? Oh, this is... That, I see. We came to the bottom of that last time. So. Is there more stuff that I'm missing?
forgetting that that guy's strong. Doesn't go down as quick. So what the heck is this? Is this a separate drop down? We'll have to investigate that in just a second. Once we've taken out all the snails, we can pull out our torch and see what's going on down there. That's where that seal is. Seems like you could drop like right here. Can't really fit under it. There we go. This is the other area. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. What is that? Oh, it's just a snap. Seal can only be broken by a seal breaker. Hold up. Is this a seal breaker? Doesn't seem like it's gonna work. I just realized that they uh, separated uh, claws from fish weapons. Was that already like that? Can't remember. Seal breaker. Shoot, I got no idea what that means. Mm. So we got some confusing stuff in here. do about that. I don't even have the faintest clue. And do I not have something yet that I need? Or am I just not understanding what it's trying to tell me? feeling I need a special item. The crappy thing about this is if we come back and don't know what to do, you can't just teleport out of here. I think we 
can't get to where I was trying to get to without getting through there, would be my guess. I suppose we are leaving. I guess I'll mark this with like a quest marker instead of a fight marker. Because if I only mark it with a fight marker, then I'll just get to the boss and not realize that we missed that steal again. What a weird dungeon. This dungeon thoroughly aggravated me. That stupid guy at the bottom. It'll level. Spend our stupid runes. Get that to 25. Yeah. Hmm. This dungeon sucks. Does that guy respawn, by the way? It does. So, let's mark this. I mean, I guess it is in the northern part, and we decided that the northern part was probably a little too difficult. Just barely over that line, but... Okay, let's go up this, see if we can find, like, a site of grace or something. Oh, I should go up here. Killing stone seven. Stone sword key. Killing stone eight. Killing stone seven. So this puts us on this other road. just a little bit. There's a lot of dragons around here, huh? How do I tell if it's a boss or not? You can lock onto them all the same. I feel like you just gotta hit it and see if a boss bar appears. And I guess the non-bosses are fairly easy to get away from. There's a big dragon. This thing's alive. What the heck? Oh, jeez. Oh, you cannot jump on top of this guy, huh? I was gonna hide on top of him. What's going on here? What's up with this dragon? I thought we might be able to talk to him. Instead, it seems like he needs to be murdered.
can actually summon our guys for this. Okay, there was nothing up here, huh? So that's back down that road over there. Probably an Erdtree Avatar right there as well. Should we kill this big dragon or? Can I even hit him? I can. Grab the side of grace. I don't know what to make of the big dragon. He seems like he's just angry and not willing to talk. Oh, why is my gear... Why do I have like a debuff? What's going on? Does it go away when I rest? It does. Is there anything to do here? No. What the heck is this castle? I guess what is this called? Fort Faroth. Fort Faroth is where they said the other Dectus uh, medallion was, right? It should be in there. Should I kill the giant dragon or should I not? It's a dilemma because he doesn't seem like he's ever going to be friendly, but I could be wrong. There's probably an Erdtree avatar over here, right? Let's go exploring a little bit. The pots usually indicate an Erdtree avatar. The tree's not up here. Where is the Earth Tree Avatar? Down there, I guess? He's probably too difficult because he's in this super difficult zone. Let's just take a peek. We got this wind current to let us back up. Oh. I don't see one. If he's here, he must be on the other side. I don't think that's that I want to go down there. So, we got a dilemma. Do I just kill the dragon or do I not? I think I'm gonna kill it. Oh, whoops. He's got a lot of health. I mean, I'm not even denting his health bar. Oh, I guess I am. Hey, hold up, I got a better idea. I'll also use our poison arrows, I guess, but... Oh, I passed it. I think bleed is going to be the most effective here. So 
he like debuffs you when you hit him. Ooh, there's the damage. doesn't feel like what we're supposed to be doing. There's another bleed proc. It's literally just gonna take me bleeding him. Looks like five times. Hopefully not a sixth time, but... Should I look up this dragon instead? I feel like I should look up the dragon. Something about this doesn't feel right. The fact that nothing has changed, even after us taking like almost half of his health. Well, let's take exactly half of his health. Because that's usually when an enemy that you're not supposed to kill will run away. past half. So now I feel like we're not supposed to be doing this. But the fact that he... I don't know, it's weird, because he just debuffs your damage, right? He debuffs, like, your armor and damage for hitting him. I'm gonna have to look up this dragon. I don't feel good about just killing him for no reason, but he didn't want to talk. And I can't, like, get on his back or anything and do something cool. Seems like there's no way to interact with him except for just, just kill him. Does he have his health back? Let's find out. He does have his health back. So we're going to have to do it all at once if we want to actually kill. Well. So I'm going to look up this dragon. Um, He's near Fort Faroth. He's a giant dragon. And then as far as what we're going to be doing... I guess we're just going to Redmain Castle. I don't really want to go up here right now. It's kind of a pain. That area was a pain. Oh, I said we were going to do Celia Crystal Tunnel, but we should wait until we have a good blunt weapon. So we should maybe choose a blunt weapon. Let's go over to the round table where it's nice and quiet. There's not heavy rain and crazy music going on. Let's take a look at what weapons we have access to. Also, part of me wants to jump down and check out if there's anything new down here. Kind of a weird area that doesn't seem like it'll ever change. But I feel like it should change. anything here. Has opened new pathways or anything like that. We didn't find a new spirit thing, did we? Greeting, do you have the spirit? Nope. Do we have a somber well, smithing stone that will help? No, we don't have a six. I feel like we have a seven though, right? Don't we have a seven and an eight? 
We have an eight, a nine. We don't have a six or a seven. Interesting. Here we got five, six, seven, eight. Hmm. Alright, let's take a look at our weapons. What kind of blunt weapons do we have? Slash. Slash pierce. Standard pierce. Pierce, standard, standard. Strike. Okay, so we're looking for strike stuff, huh? Strike, strike. Strike, strike, strike. Can't use any of this stuff because it all requires lots of strength. Is there any other categories of weapons that have strike? Slash pierce. Slash pierce. None, none. I think that bows would do piercing damage, right? Maybe the arrow does piercing damage? Strike. But that's that's not what we're looking for. Strike, 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 but those are also not what we're looking for. Same thing. So we're pretty much... That's 34. Oh, we just don't have the decks to use the Knight Rider one. This has kick. Both of them have kick. How does the morning star do so much more than the whale? What does this thing look like anyways? I wonder how fast it swings. I guess I could jump off the thing and go test it. I don't want like a super slow weapon. They're pretty much the same, huh? This thing does more damage. This thing has higher scalings, but this thing is scaling better? What's up with that? The deck scaling must just be that much better? And I guess the lack of strength scaling is not that much worse? thing. Does the uh, Morningstar do that too? No, it just has like a normal looking attack. Mm. Let's put like an Ash of War on it, but it can't be a magical Ash of War, even though that's going to be our best type of stuff. And I guess we'll try and get some upgrades, as many as we can do with this many runes, I guess. Well, I took you for dinner, Matthew. It's lay out your arms. So, heavy... Uh oh I was reading the wrong part. Right, it currently causes bleed. Hold up. This thing does not have bleed probably why it does more damage, but I feel like the Crystallians are not going to bleed. So, do we even want the Morning Star? Yeah, sure, I, I'm fine with the Morning Star. Back already, no matter. That's been our, our go-to weapon when we needed blunt, so we'll keep it. But the question is... We can pick any upgrade for it.
How do I? There we go. Increases attack power. Savage combo. Jump up high in the air and crash down on the ground ahead. The resulting rat ball sends a powerful shockwave in all directions. Assume an anchored stance to brace for incoming attacks, briefly boosting poise. Damage taken while using this skill is reduced. Why would you ever want to do that? Ooh, Lion's Claw. Skill the red mains to fight alongside somersault forward, striking foe with armament. Oh, we just have kick as well. Might as well use this special one, right? Seems cool. What's gonna give us the most damage? Standard's giving us 139. Not that. Also not that. Also not that. So standard's your best bet right now. Oh, we don't have enough smithing stuff. Oh wait, no we don't, we need 12. Dang. That's a pain. How many smithing stones? We need five more? How are we looking on all the other smithing stones? A plenty of two, plenty of three, plenty of four. Five's probably not in the cards right now. So let's see how much that costs. Might not be doing this next time. I think we'll just go to Redmain Castle. We'll come back to these two areas. Smithing so Stone 1s? Oh, they only cost 200. really should have put the shops a little bit closer. Is Nefeli still down here? Don't talk to her because I don't want to accidentally give her the potion, but yeah, she is. Back already, my mat's out. So we said it was doing 139 before, right? Gotta keep track of how much it actually goes to. Although we're already out of rings. I guess I could pop some rings. Probably gonna need quite a bit though. Jeez, we almost have 200 of those? What should I pop? This is 400, 800, 1200. We use like three of these should be good, right? Back already, my mat's out. Ah, uh, we need another six hundred. <laughs> That'll get us to plus nine, which we were doing 139 before. Now it's going to be doing 218. Not double. I feel like if we're not doing more than double, it's not even worth it yet. But I guess we still have smithing stone 4, right? That was only smithing stone 3. I don't want to waste all this stuff on this stupid morning star, but... We probably will. I'm just gonna uh, wait, though, because I don't want to do those areas right now anyways. So we'll keep that in mind as we acquire some extra runes 
We'll level that thing up. But yeah, um, this was an interesting one. We kind of, we started well by doing like the quest and stuff, finishing the boss immediately. But then, um, uh, kind of ran into some walls, huh? We couldn't, couldn't finish this dungeon. Uh, there's the giant dragon that I need to look up. Gotta mark this, I still gotta fight that. As, as there's a few walls we're hitting right now that seem a little too tough and I either have to bang my head against it for a while or get stronger and come back. And I think for everything in North Kalid, I'm thinking I want to get stronger and come back. Um, I don't know how hard Fort Faroth is going to be. Because that kind of... Like, it seems like you need to beat Fort Faroth before you're going to Volcano Manor, right? That's just the logical way of doing things. Obviously, we could have... We've already been to Volcano Manor, and we can sneak in through this way, which maybe we should consider doing this path soon here. Um, but first, I think we start with trying to go to Redmain Castle and slay uh, Radagon. And then see what that does for unlocking Nokron. And also we gotta remember we have all of three keys to do the four bell freeze. So we could do that as well. But yeah, I think we're gonna call it there for now. Um, we'll figure out what, what the goal is. I'm not exactly sure what we want to be doing. Um, but I'm trying to figure it out. Anyways, that's gonna do it for this one. Hopefully you enjoyed... I got some quest stuff done, but maybe didn't finish all the dungeons that we wanted. But either way, hopefully you enjoyed, and I will see you next time.